Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. I got a quick guide for you on MDT, Mythic Dungeon Tools. It's the third best add-on for Mythic Plus. Hands down, great for routing, great for learning dungeons in each season, honestly, and for coordinating with your groups. Honestly, I just love it. So I'm gonna go into like, you know, what MDT is used for, uh, which is pretty sim simple. An overview of the add-on, setting up a new route, and then exporting and importing a new route into the add-on itself. Uh, and that's it. You know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Let's get into it. MDT is used for a lot of different things, honestly, but the main thing is routes uh, for Mythic Plus Dungeons. Uh, you can make a bunch of different routes uh, for depending on different affixes, um, new seasons, all that jazz. Uh, it's great because uh, for new seasons, if you're like, I mean, new to the game or you just don't know the dungeons themselves, you can go in and check out each individual mob's abilities, what they're affected by, like taunts, stuns, all that jazz. Uh, maybe what's killing you, even for bosses. It's just so, it's such a good add-on. It's crazy. But the, like I said, the main purpose is for routes. Uh, you can import other people's routes into, you, into your MDT so you can see it um, firsthand. And the same, you can export your own routes. You can make different routes depending on affixes, weeks, your group composition, all that jazz. It is so freaking cool. Give you guys a brief rundown uh, or overview of the add-on itself. We'll go through like abilities, mobs, how you draw stuff and all that jazz. So let's just go to a new route. Let's go route three here. Uh, so let's do the first thing. You can see the dungeons over here on the left. You can see all the dungeons. You can select whatever you want. You go to Naka. We get a quarter stars. We can do all that jazz. Let's just start with Algathar Academy. We can even show if you go to more dungeons, you can see past seasons. But we're gonna stick to Dragonflight season one for this. Uh, right over here on the right, you can see. Um, oh, let's go back to Algathar. You can see like how many mobs we have in the pool. Uh, you can name your name name the route if you want to. You can select a new route. Uh, import, export, delete, reset. All that jazz, super cool. You can even select what affixes you want to talk about and all that, which is awesome. Absolutely love that part of it. Uh, but what's really cool here, let's let's get into the mobs itself. So if you come over here, you can see what percentage they have. So you can see forces. So it says, you know, forces five, and it says 1.11%. That's how much percent this mob will kill. If we kill it, that's how much we'll get for the route. Uh, which is pretty cool. But there's also right click for more info. This is incredibly helpful. You can see what abilities the mobs have. You can also see what they're affected by. So we can see that they're affected by taunt, disorient, stun, slow, fear, root, silence, all that stuff, uh, which is incredibly helpful. Uh, but it's really cool. You can see the abilities, like I said. But this is great for if you don't know what you're dying to stuff. You're like, what the heck's happening here? You can come in MDT, check out the mob, and see what it does. We can also link it to your group. So if you press enter in the chat, shift left click, and you can share it. And then I can see here on my bottom left, you can see that uh, what this ability does. That's really cool. You can do it with all the mobs. You can even do it for bosses too. So you can see what they're doing power vacuum, arcane missiles, astral breath. You get the idea. And what they're affected by, it's a boss, so it's affected by a lot less. Really cool though, absolutely love that. Uh, so that's kind of a general thing there. So let's go into um, kind of uh, making a route uh, just briefly uh, or, how, or things you can do, some tools you can use. Uh, so we got drawing freehand, basically you can draw, have freedom to do whatever. I don't use this very often because I can't draw very well. <laughs> uh, but you can use drawing lines, this just makes lines instead, so it's a little bit better. You can even make the brush size slightly bigger, which is awesome, so you can make that, or smaller, so we can undo it here. You can undo, redo, like, oh, I undid that. No, I didn't mean to, I can redo it, you know what I mean? So, undo, redo, we got drawing arrows, I use these a lot, so like, if I wanna go this route first, I wanna start with that, great. I actually wanna make that smaller, so let's undo that, and I can re-put it here. I can do two, I can do three. Uh, it's pretty insane how much you can do. So let's just say I, I want to start the pull here. I go that. I want to do a, a different color. Let's go here and change all the colors here. You can go up here, do that. I can change it again. I can go yellow. And now I'm going to come over this way. Uh, but you get the idea. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also insert notes. So like if I wanted to, let's put a note right here. I want to say lust on, oops, not voice, lust on boss. I can put that there. So now when I hover over that note, that's what that says. Uh, super helpful. Uh, I love that. You can move objects. You can even do a drawing eraser sort of thing. So if I like drew something like a line, I could do that and brush size increase. Let's just do an eraser and I can start to erase that or whatever, you know. It might just be easier to undo it for the most part. At least that's what I use it for. Uh, let's see here. You can delete all drawings if you drew a bunch of stuff you didn't mean to. So if I just drew some random stuff, here, you know, arrow, boom, and then, I don't know, whatever it is, I can do a delete all drawings, delete, it's gone. Uh, super nice. Um, to make pulls real quick, uh, you can select a mob, let's just say I want to pull these two mobs, I add a pull, these two mobs, add a pull, do these, let's just say I want to pull this whole group, Let's we're, we're going to do all this, boom, that's a mob you can go through. Really cool, even shows how much percentage you have on each of those, so 7 or 8%, 16%, 35%, so from these three 
pulls basically i'm at 35 percent so it's great for annoying the enemy forces and all that jazz uh which is pretty cool you can see that these are different colors, but you can actually change it. So if you go over here, you can enable minimap button, automatically color pulls, all that jazz. But you can change this to high contrast, rainbow, black and yellow, red, green, and blue, color blind friendly, even make your own. Uh, I, so we can see black and yellow, so it changes them to black and yellow pulls. You got red, green, and blue, like those, those really pop. Rainbow, obviously it's gonna go through the rainbow colors, color blind friendly, this is super cool. Uh, high contrast, I really like high contrast and rainbow. I just like how the colors pop and everything as you're going through the route. But everybody has their own preference. You can even, you know, you can just apply it to the route if you want to. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool, really helpful. I think that's kind of everything you guys really just need to know for that. Um, like I said, you can make new routes. You can go back to old routes. Uh, if you want to go to different floors, you can select a little door here. Select, so if I want to go over here to this floor, I can see this mob and this mob. I can do that. Or I can also, if you hold control and you like mouse wheel like down, or up, it'll it'll go to the next uh, next floor for you as well. So that's super cool. So like if we went into let's see Azure Vault, I can see this floor. If I want to control left and mouse wheel, I can go to the different floors. Super helpful. Love that uh, about this. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically everything. Just kind of a quick overview for that. So let's get into um, how to make a route. Okay, so let's make a route real quick here. Uh, so let's start. Let's go to let's go to a different dungeon. Maybe Shadow Moon Barrier Grounds. Okay, we'll start off with this one. Um, so we're just gonna make a route really quick, okay? It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't know like where to go, you could draw like arrows. So we could just say like this, and then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here, and then here, drop down here, and then you will go from this way and then to boss. So we could do that. Let, let's just leave that for, I don't know, something. Okay, so let, let, let's grab this first mob. Usually you can chain pull these into both of these. Uh, I think in some keys, especially fortified, you can just skip this all together and then you grab like a spider or an extra mob later on. But for the sake of this route, we're, we'll just, we'll keep it. Okay, so we're going to keep it there. Let's pull this mob by itself. Then we're going to pull, we're going to pull, I'm going to include both of those together, but but really it's it's one at a time. You can, you can drag actually these spiders down, but what doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna get this, we're gonna pull this mob, and then we're gonna get the boss, we're gonna include that. Next one, we basically are gonna pull all those together. I usually will pull either this one with it, or I'll do these two. Just gotta make sure you interrupt those ads. We'll do this one. And then there is gonna be a little ad that spawns here, so we're actually gonna, let's make a note. So let's just say, um, uh, kick, kick at, kick slash kill ad. Spawns here right after the boss. There's a little trick you can do, but we'll move on from that. Uh, then we gotta pull this mob, and then you can even add in this one towards the end, like kind of like a chain pull. We'll, we'll call it its own pull here. So we'll go down here. Uh, basically, whoa, what is it? We're gonna pull all this, I believe. Then you're gonna come, yeah, yeah. Then you're gonna come down here. These chain pull. We'll pull both these, and you can you can grab one of these spiders. Um, I think technically, I think we will need to, but we'll, we'll just go on. So we're gonna. I'm gonna chain pull the, I pull the both of these together. This is its own pull because it's by itself. Pull, <laughs> and then we've got these last pulls. So now we're at 102%, so we technically don't need to. So let's go back to 13 here. Let's get rid of these two spiders. Let's pull back, let's grab these. You can, you can people even opt to like, I think you can skip some of this stuff, but uh, we'll grab these, we're at 104%, that's okay. And then boom. Okay, we're gonna rename it. We're gonna say main um, SPG uh, route. Boom. Click rename. Now it's renamed. Now when I come to this dungeon, I can see that. So like just for instance, I go to knock good and uh, you know, different one. If I come back to Shadow and Barry Grounds, there it is. And then I can export it and all that jazz. I can even change graphics and build a different one if I wanted to, but that's how you make a make a route. Super easy. Okay, so importing and exporting routes is actually really easy. So to export a route, all you have to do is you click the export button, you'll copy this string here, and then you can share it to whoever else you want. Uh, it's import a route. Um, it's still pretty easy, but you can click import here. But we're going to actually go to uh, Keystone Guru, which is what I use a lot. So I'll pull it up here on screen so you guys can see it. So Keystone Guru, you can click on Dragonfly Season 1. Uh, let's just say we're going to grab an Algathar Academy here. Let's do this week. Uh, let's do... Let, let, oh, let's do Radar IO plus 25. Let's grab this real fast. Do, 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 do. We'll click share. You can grab this MDT string, say copy to clipboard. We're gonna go back to WoW, open this sucker up. We're gonna click import. Uh, just copy the string in there, click import, and boom, we have the route. And it even has the name for it, Radar IO plus 25, and you can rename it or anything like that, but incredibly easy to import and export routes there.
And that's the guide on MDT. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. If you aren't using this, this add-on, you definitely should. I, I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. I'm Hoshizi. You're awesome. Thanks for watching.